95, 96, 97, 98, and 99. Full health, ready to go. Oh, what, we're back? Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is TensBubble13, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. So, in the last part or so, we got all of the Dark Temple keys, and we're resting at this final spot. And we have but one goal to take down the first boss of this game. So let's open this door up, shall we? Got a nifty little opening segment right here. Kind of like this part right here. Because they just magically float up to their spots. It's just so cool. Why can't all door keys just be like that? What ifs? So there it is. Our first boss of this game. Let's do this. Alrighty, folks, we are about ready to fight a Morbis right here. So, what you want to do first off, you want to scan this. That's going to be Morbis's first form. So, there's two parts to this fight, really. Um, I'm just going to mention that just right now. Um, I think this would be a little bit easier to use the light beam since a Morbis is considered a dark creature. And what he likes to do most of the times um, is just hop up between, or he just kind of jumps around from sand. And what I've noticed about this fight, look at all this stuff he gives us. Like, you really just don't need to be wasting time um, in these little fields right here. You can just like, whoa. You can pretty much just, uh, like, not even die in this fight, really. <laughs> Since he gives out so much of this stuff. But right here, this is the second part that you want to scan. This is a Morbus 2, or I would like to consider this his dark form of a Morbus. And um, you want to hit right in this spot. Let's see. And what sometimes he will do in this form, particularly, is that he'll try to nullify these crystals, and that way you won't be able to um, get inside these little spots right here. So, I don't think he's going to probably do it, but wow. Okay, so I just revealed his weak spot right there. So once he once he does that, he'll try to suck you up. So you want to go into the morph ball to just go inside. This kind of reminded me of Flagra for some point, like when 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 you're fighting Flagra in Metroid Prime. You know the part where um, that you stun Flagra and then like those um, four opening spots open up. It's gonna be kind of like that, but it's different. It's still kind of different. No, I thought this was going to be exactly like Flagra, still. So, now we got two of these guys just popping up. I'm just going to kind of watch your radar as this happens. Shoot, right there, I almost got him. So, you could just, you know, use the power shots on this guy, or all I can do is sometimes use the light, uh, the light beam shots. I don't think these guys will die if they step into the um, fully charged light beacons or whatever. I don't think that's gonna work. So I took that guy out. Oh, I almost got him. They can be a little bit annoying, just going back and forth, back and forth. There's the last one. There you go. See, look at all this stuff. They give us so much energy. It's ridiculous. So now there's two of these guys formed, and they have some different attacks, if I remember correctly. Let's see, they're, yeah, they're gonna do one right now. They fire lasers! Ah, lasers are always bad. Ah, dark lasers is evil. All right, come on, enough of the light show already. All right, there we go. So let's take these guys down, shall we? Oh, Dunsky. See, look, he just did it right there. A little uh, sparkling thing right there kind of nullified that beacon, so we can't really do anything to it. I think that beacon's just like done for. Let's see, whoa. I kind of hurt there, pal. Oh, I can't destroy it. Okay. I didn't know that. So you can destroy those things. That's good. You, sir, can you please stop whacking back and forth like that? Thank you. Better do that. There we go. 
So a couple of power shots should also work too. I mean, light beam just takes them out really fast. I'm probably not going to be using light beam that much since it's, uh, I want this boss fight to be kind of not too short. But there you go. Down goes the la uh, second worm. And for our main goal of this fight is to break that thing that he, that they're sort of keeping as a prized possession in the middle there. It looks like some sort of egg. Could be some egg. So now for this form, there's going to be all three of these worms popping up. This thing kind of reminds me of we. Have you ever seen Free Willy? You know the part where the whale's just like leaping over the guy's head. Yeah, it's Free Willy. <laughs> So let's not mess around, let's just pull out our light beam for this part. This is very quick and simple. Wow, one shot just does like that much damage to them. It's crazy. See, this is just so crazy. Like, look at all this stuff that they pop out. It's, this fight is just almost too easy. It's so easy. Like, without these light crystals or light beacons, this would probably be a little bit more challenging. There's going to be areas like this where they're not going to have that much of these light beacons or crystals or whatever. And that's um, gonna add a little bit more challenge. So where is the last one? The last one's around here somewhere. Come on. I know you're hiding. There you go. So let's go ahead and wait for them to pop up once more. You don't have to scan these guys and you don't have to scan that middle thing. Go. They're gonna do the light show again. What is up with these guys and beams? Like every single boss has like laser beams or whatever. <laughs> uh, really, just you know, that's what I've noticed all the time playing Metroid Prime games. Go. So let's take care of you. I only got about a few uh, light beam shots left. So I gotta use them wisely. And if not, I'll just resort back to power shots. There goes the first one. Got two more left. Come on. Which one of you is gonna There you go. You're next. No 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 don't 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 Ugh. The annoying thing is about this is they take forever to finish their little light beam show. With their dark beam, whatever whatever it's called, I mean. I guess it's called dark beam. Alright, come on you! See, he just nullified that crystal once more. I have to move over here. Oh, there you go. There goes that one. And... Have a bomb! Just eat my poop. There you go. And last but not least... Come on. Whoa! You, sir, stop nullifying my beacons go and that should be it ah. yeah that's right sleep away because that felt great didn't it Brace for impact! Ooh, I wonder what that could possibly be. Well, let's go ahead and pick this up, shall we? Some new clothes for Samus! Yes! Finally! <clears throat> so, this is the dark suit. We have now acquired this. This will be a little bit easy from not taking that much damage to the dark atmosphere. So that's pretty fit nifty. However, like, a lot of people were kind of complaining about this suit 
just not looking so good. Like they're they're complaining about like the designs of this. This isn't like like one of my favorite suits out of all the Metroid Prime games, but it still looks pretty cool. I mean, the design of it may be a little kind of funky at some point, but still. Um, I still think it's cool, rather. And it's funny because um, I think they have that in like some of the texture hacks in Brawl, because I've been messing around with getting all sorts of texture hacks. I found like this really cool texture hack not too long ago. I posted on Twitter. Um, there was a, um, a Deadpool snake texture hack that I can use, and it's just so freaking cool because I love Deadpool and all that stuff. So, there you go. So now it is time to take back the light that should be ours from the light world, I guess. Shove it right in there, why don't you? You know, because that's always a thing. Yeah, lately I've been just like messing around. There's like this cool site that you can find, like all sorts of um, cool texture hacks and stuff. Where if you ever want to try to hack your your ball into getting those sort of things, so there's been a lot of crazy good ones. I'll tell you that. <laughs> so it looks to me like that's the end of Dark Aegon Waste. We've gotten back the light. Energy transfer complete. Return the energy to its temple on Aether. Which means we gotta go back to basically where we can talk to one of the um, other Luminoths and retrieve or put back the light to its good use. So we're gonna have to make back our journey. Yeah, it's backtrack time. Good old backtrack time. Also, I, I forgot I can skip this because there's gonna be times where this thing is just gonna be spinning around. I do not want to see those cutscenes again. <clears throat> oh, jeez, what is that? Are those... Ah. Uh, you know what, this would be the part where I'm going to just skip this, because I don't really feel like fighting those, and I only have about like a little bit of um, light energy or light beam shots, so... Goodbye! really just don't feel like, you know, wasting time. So I'd rather just get out of here quick and possible, because... Well, now, you notice that on the... Um, once I step out in the atmosphere, I'm taking like little damage from the atmosphere now that we have the dark suit. So that's rather cool, I guess. So, it looks like it's going to be time for us to say goodbye to Dark Aegon Waste. And I don't know if there's anything that I can do to like progress through. There's probably like some sort of items I can get. I know there's one in particular I can probably get before we move on to... Um, Aegon Waste. And I think we want to go to the very, very beginning, right over here. There's a little black door that we can open up. Let's go. Come on, door. Thank you. So let's go ahead and go to this way. So, yeah, let's go that way. Let's see here. So, I guess, well, today is. Friday, I think I'm recording this on Friday. I'm gonna have work pretty soon, so that's why I want to get this stuff done. And um, it's a little bit hard for me to say. Like, I really sometimes don't record on Fridays because of, you know, I always sometimes have work that day. Like, I have it like in the mornings, or sometimes I'm closing one of those days. So I try, I try not to record on Fridays, but I will at least get some of this stuff out there. You know, so it looks like we're finally here. That dark door is just around the other side, ignoring everything that's around me. <laughs> so let's open this up. And let's see if there's anything. Nothing much to scan here. Oh, but we got some more of these guys. You. Goodbye. <clears throat> also, I kind of forgot to mention, too, if you run low, or if you, ran, if you run out of um, light energy or dark beam shots um then i don't think like if you charge them like it's going to count as a full shot it's really weird how this works and it's really hard for me to explain but i think they still like do like regular shots if you uh, run low i'm pretty sure it doesn't work so i really i really just don't want to waste much time doing that stuff but oh well so there we go we got another um we got another energy uh, Missile expansion. I think that's the only missile expansion that I will get in this area. 
So let's now head back to the light side. Ow, excuse me, Inklets. That's not very nice of you. Might as well get some more light shots while I'm at it. Because that would be kind of useful towards my progression. <laughs> so They give you like a lot of um, ammo around here. That's good. They get like areas that we go to, there's a lot of good chance at, in the dark aether side. Like there's there's gonna be like a lot of these things that you can just get lots of ammo, lots of health, and all this stuff. Oh dear lord, we got dark No! No! You, okay, no. You, sir, get out of here. I'm going to kill you with that. Please get up here. No, I'm not going to waste time. There we go. So let's guess um, it's time for us to head back into good old light aether. Ah, never thought I'd say this, but home sweet home. <laughs> ah, I'm dissolving! Doki then. Uh, so let's go back to. We need to go all the way back um, through the um, Aegon Temple. We gotta go all the way back to the Energy Control Center for this place. That way we can finally say goodbye to this place. It's about freaking time. <laughs> this place has always been not one of my favorite areas. But then again, it always has that Chosa Ruin feel. I'm going to just go for a little ride here. See here. Nothing really much else I can talk about, really. Um, other than we're just heading over to. Oh man. There's gonna be a times where I just. I really just don't want to deal with these folks here, so I might just ignore all those folks from time to time. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be wasting. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna be wasting that much time fighting these guys. I want this to be rather quick and. Because you know, you've probably seen like most playthroughs of the of this game, where most of the guys just take a little bit of time to clear out all the enemies. Um, there's been some playthroughs that I've seen that they just ignore like everything, um, especially for um, this game particularly. And there's also too this one little sequence break trick that I learned throughout um, watching this game. You can actually skip um, Anorbus's fight and just not get the dark. Um, suit completely, and you can probably do this no dark suit run. I've seen several vid. I've seen a little bit of playthrough on that, but like, it's really tough. <laughs> it, you have to sequence break this game like rapidly, um, and pretty much once you um, are all done with the dark temple keys, like you pretty much just get out of this area and move on to pretty much the next area that we're going to be going to. And, um, just totally sequence break the hell out of this game. So, but I'm not going to be doing that. Of course, I already got the dark suit. <clears throat> I'm just going to play this game normally. Like, I'm going to go in chronological order. I'm going to do what the game is telling me to do, basically. So now that we switched the light bulbs, <laughs> I guess. What does this do? It reveals the light. And that's just basically one of our goals. Right there. <clears throat> There's two more areas that we have left to do, but we finished um, completing Aegon Way, so that's finally done. We got one of the lights to shine. Temple grounds, so that's good. There, you're happy now, Samus. Oh, look, it's one of the um, Luminots. I think this was Isha. Not too sure. And he takes his last bow. Energy transfer complete. This completes. Uh, the temple energy has now been restored. Awesome. So that's it. We're done. Yes. That is it. I'm pretty sure that's all we can do now in um, Aegon Waste. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing that much backtracking. Let's see. 
I'm trying to think if there's even something I can do. Because there's probably like some missile expansions and stuff that we missed back in Temple Grounds now that we have um, most of the stuff. <clears throat> so I guess it's finally time to say goodbye uh, to good old Temple, or not Temple, Aegon Waste. Actually, there is probably one thing that we can do here. Um, now that we have the light and dark beams, there's two sides that has both of those doors. I think I can go here now. Yep, there's something I can do just really, really quick. There's an energy tank up there. And so there's those darn uh, pill things again. Oops. Now, I guess it's safe to take these guys out first before I move on. There we go. Now, we want to kind of do a little bit of bomb jump in here. And so we got to do this. Kind of like in uh, Metroid Prime. So... If you're playing on the trilogy version, then it's a little bit quick to just, uh, there's like that, um, easy jump thing that they have. It, it's, it's a little bit quicker, but, okay, this part I always seem to screw up. You want to just stand right here. There we go. And just drop down, because those sand things will disappear, and there's our energy tank right there. Awesome! I think that's all we can do for this area. Because <clears throat> I think on that other side, if we go all the way to the other side... Um, there's, I think, a green door. Let me see here. Oh no, it's a purple door, which we haven't really quite seen. Yet. But we'll be getting something that deals with purple doors. Because that's always a thing. Let's get the hell out of here now. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And let's see. I think there's something else. Not sure if we can go over there quite yet. So I'm going to just um, skip that light door for a second and come back to it later on. Because I don't think we can really do anything just yet. Well, I think now would be a good time to get out of this place. Don't you think? I think so. Yes, we all want to move on to other areas now and then. You know, it's it's tough, but we got to do it. Just got to do it. Okay, no, I'm not going to waste it. Get... Just no. <laughs> I've already seen enough of those guys. Really, you should know by now how to kill those guys. So, I think we got that one already, yeah. Let's get the hell out of here now. Well, there you have it, folks. We'll probably come back to this area later on. I'm pretty sure of it. But for now, we must move on. So let's just take our last look at Aegon Waste in the bright light and say, good say goodbye to this place because we'll probably be coming back there for not too long. So, there you have it. So with all that good stuff gone, let's finally go back to the temple grounds. There are some, I think there are some other things we can do now to just to kind of backtrack and clean up most of the areas of missile expansions and other things. Never thought I'd see this place again. <laughs> oh. I think you want to go back. Um, let's see. Back to this area right here. Or I think that might be a little bit later on. I'm not so sure. See, at this point on, like, I really just have like no plan. I'm really just going with my guts. Like, what I feel like it's you know, a perfect opportunity to do this and a perfect opportunity to do to do that. I can probably take care of a few more missile expansions and then we'll get right into the next area. That's about it, really. So hopefully this doesn't drag on for too long. There we go. Oh, hello there, guys. Don't mind if I do. So there's one thing that we can do here. Remember this door right here? I think if we shoot this with the light beam right here, this will open up this door. And as you can kind of see from beyond or over there, there's another dark portal. Let's go ahead and scan this. Let's just go ahead and shoot this. <laughs> and it looks like we're going to finally take a glimpse of the, tar the dark temple grounds. They call this, I think, different. I think this is called the Ing Hive in this area. 
So if we open up our map here. See, there's nothing really much else that we can do in this area. Other than there's a purple door over there. And there's our dead Luminoff friend. <laughs> He's all just dead and something. <clears throat> so, the main purpose of this room, obviously, is there's a missile expansion just right over here. Let's go ahead and grab this. And that will put us to, I believe, 45 missiles. There we go. And we can completely ignore that guy. I really just don't want to deal with these. <laughs> since I'd rather not, since I am kind of dying here. And you notice how, like, later on, once we get closer and closer to the end of the game, there's, there's not going to be much of those force fields um, left around. So, but we'll have some sort of other thing that will prevent that from happening. So, there we go. Back to dissolving and back into the light world, finally. <laughs> so that was so bad. Okay. Now, I know there's one more thing, too. And then I'll just stop right around there. So, now that we have the double jump, we can go up this way quickly. Because I think there was a... Uh, missile expansion on that side. Let's go ahead and turn it to Morph Ball, because I think there's a slot right up here. Oops. And there you go! Now we're up to 50 missiles. That's pretty cool. This would be kind of useful for the boss fight, but even though you really should have at least maybe 30 missiles, or 35, or... I mean, assuming you would use missiles that much. But... I guess that's about it. Um, so let's go back up to this place now. And... Whoosh! Alrighty, so I guess now... What you have to do now is we gotta talk to um, the Illuminoths to find out where the next area, where we have to go in order to do that. That's probably what we're gonna be doing most of the time in this game. So completely ignoring all this stuff. Um, actually, I think there was something else. There we go. You... Okay, die. Get rid of all these guys here. There we go. Yeah, there's something else in here, too. So let's go ahead and take care of this. Now that we have bomb... Uh, or now that we have the Morph Ball and the Power Bombs, we can go up here now. And just beyond the end is another missile expansion. So, we got about a few missiles so far. And, yeah, there we go. Alrighty, folks. I think this would be a good place to stop. Right around here. Um, but next time, we're going to be talking to the Luminoth and find out where our next area is. So, I'm just going to stand right in the middle. And I'll talk to you guys later. So, thanks for watching. Peace out.